Hi, I want to talk to you today about the different charts that Orton has available for you to use when you're using our pyrometric cones. We have cones that come from temperatures as low as 590 degrees, which is cone 022, up to 2015 degrees, cone number 42. And we've compiled all this information into charts, and one of them is very detailed and quite lengthy. And this would be very confusing if we got into showing you all of them. So what we have done is we simplified it and shortened it, and we have come up with this more condensed chart that we're going to be talking about today. So now the charts we're talking about are available on our website in the resources section, and you can find this chart, which is encompassing both the Fahrenheit and Celsius scales. But if you only work in degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius, you can find a more condensed version of this same chart in a printable form. And this one is, avail is in just degrees centigrade. So you see it it's not as cumbersome and um, doesn't have as much detail but it only covers the temperatures that you're working within. What we want to talk about within this chart is what all these colors and or columns are, are giving you information about. Down here you'll see a key that is telling you based on color that there are cones that are made with red iron oxide and some without red iron oxide. So Red iron oxide is the material that we use in a, in a small segment of our cone series. They fall between cone numbers 010 and cone number 3. Those cones have this red iron oxide material and it, it makes these cones ha take on a, the appearance of like a red brick. So it has those red brick color. They can be problematic in kilns that are fired in a reducing atmosphere. Something like a gas kiln where you are adjusting the gas air ratio to more reducing than oxidizing. Iron oxide in that type of situation will reduce and cause the cones not to perform properly. So we have come up with a second series of cones just for that segment of cones from O10 to cone 3 and we call them our iron free series and you can find that data just to the right of the original series. The temperatures are very close to and almost overlap the what we call our regular cone series. Here you see that we have taken all of this information and put it into columns. The head of each column here, this is for self-supporting cones. We do large cones and small cones. So we give you information on all three types in this one chart. Under self-supporting cones, you will see regular or iron-free, and then we put the designation SSB or SSK following those labels. SSB stands for self-supporting box, and the SSK stands for self-supporting iron-free cone. Over here, you'll see large done the same way. LRB, large regular box, IFB, iron-free box. Small cones are um, known by the designation SRB, small regular box. Underneath those headings, you're going to see numbers. And they can be quite confusing at times if you don't know what they actually mean. These numbers, for instance here, 27, 108, 270, those are referring to the heating rate at which you're firing your kiln. Those are important to know because firing ceramics isn't a temperature situation only. You have to know the time as well as the temperature in order to get them to fully develop. And cones respond just like your ceramics do. They need the time and the temperature component to when the cone will bend over. Most of electronic fired kilns nowadays that operate with a cone fire mode, fire the final segment of the firing on a medium rate or the 108 degrees cycle, which you find in the center column. Over here, 
underneath on the far left side you'll see the lowest temperature cone listed O22 and they go down in by number O21, O20 all the way down to O1 note that the zero is important in these it designates that these are temperatures below cone number one and the temperatures are increasing as the number seems to be increasing. Now once you reach cone number one and you go to 14 the, the temperatures increase normally. So if you're firing to cone 06 note that that is much different than cone 6. So if the numbers confuse you drop down to the next level and you'll see the words slow, medium, and fast. You can use that instead. I fire on a, feed, on a fast rate. Well, I'm going to use this column to determine what temperature I'm going to use as my target temperature. If I'm going to do a moderate medium rate, I'm going to use the middle column. I would say that 99% of the time you want to go to the middle column and use that for your reference when you're firing an electronic kiln. How would you use this? Let's just say we're going to fire to cone 6 and we want to use a medium schedule. I am going to go down to cone 6 and move across to the middle column and I'll see a temperature there, 2232. That's your target temperature to start with. If your kiln does not bend a, kiln, a cone 6 when it's fired to 2232, then you can adjust up or down the temperature or you can add a hold time if your cone hasn't bent far enough. You can add more heat work and get that cone to deform. But these temperatures that we put on this chart are a guide for you to use when you're trying to program your kiln for what you really want it to do.